Feminazi! Opening your eyes to the lies of social justice. It was recently learned that Netflix has been throttling the speed at which it sends video to people on certain mobile data service providers. We're talking cell phone based internet services that tend to have very, very low monthly data limits. If you exceed them, you get charged, say, 10 bucks for every gigabyte that you go over. Netflix has been throttling the speed at which it sends to their customers who are on services known to be capped. Here's an interesting little fact about these internet service providers. Some of them are the same companies that have been caught throttling Netflix intentionally because Netflix directly competes with their television services. So they don't have a problem throttling Netflix themselves. But when Netflix throttles the service speed that they provide to those customers so that the customers won't run as high of a risk of blowing through their data caps, the internet service providers get all up in arms. Even though they don't have a problem with it when they're doing the throttling and they're limiting their customers ability to access Netflix unless Netflix pays a ransom to that service provider. The truth of what's going on here is that the service providers are absolutely pissed because of the fact that Netflix is keeping their customers from blowing through the data caps and paying massive overage charges for the streaming video service, which of course makes Netflix more expensive. Now, you would think that this is kind of ridiculous, but then the plot thickens. It turns out that some people at the FCC have argued that Netflix should be penalized for violating net neutrality rules because of them throttling their services selectively whenever used by certain providers customers. What's really interesting about this is this is an attempt to use the argument put forth by supporters of network neutrality against them. They are attempting to say that Netflix is throttling, therefore Netflix is violating net neutrality. The reason that net neutrality is an important concept is because internet service providers almost always have a monopoly on the highest speed of internet access available to a customer in a particular scenario or a particular market. Because of this monopoly, internet service providers must be regulated by the government government to ensure that they provide fair access to the internet. That means that if you pay Verizon, AT&T, CenturyLink, any of these other communication companies to get access to the internet, that you're paying for unbiased access to the internet. You're paying for internet access that they are not then deciding what comes to you quickly and what comes to you too slowly to be usable. You're paying for uncontrolled internet with the only exclusion being they can do what they need to do to make sure their network doesn't completely go down. You're already paying for that when you pay for an internet connection. What's going on here is that you've paid for your unbiased internet connection. These ISPs have been caught biasing that connection against Netflix. So now Netflix is trying to help customers who would blow through data caps and get overage charges by not throwing too much data at them when they're on a mobile network. It reduces the quality of the stream, but it keeps them from hitting overages. The overages make Netflix cost more for the consumer through their cell phone bill. Most people don't like it when they hit a data cap and go over, except the ISP do. They're trying to argue that Netflix not sending data as fast as they can is the same thing as the monopoly internet service provider blocking Netflix's data except at a certain lowered rate. This is a lie. This is deception on the part of the internet service providers and the people at the Federal Communications Commission who support them. There is no excuse for this kind of comparison. Netflix provides a service. Netflix is not a monopoly. Netflix competes with Amazon TV. Netflix competes with Hulu. Netflix even competes with the these cable and DSL providers and satellite providers, both in the traditional TV space because they are an alternative to that, and to their own internet television add-on or extension offerings. There is plenty of competition to Netflix, but in most areas you have one, maybe two choices for internet service providers. There is no reason that Netflix should be forced to provide faster service than they are. Netflix is trying to help its customers not obtain unexpected overage charges for using the Netflix service a lot on a mobile internet connection. This is helpful to the customers of the ISP who would hit these overage charges and be paying a massive amount of money extra for streaming the video services. Certain mobile data providers are allowing certain choice services to not count against data caps. This is classic anti-competitive action by internet service providers. The only person that this is bad for is the internet service providers who would get the overage charge money themselves. It's good for Netflix. It's good for Netflix's customers. It's good for the customers of the internet service provider. But no one really cares about the customer of the internet service provider at the internet service provider. 
Why do they matter? They're just cash cows. Go out there and milk some more money. And if they have to make their internet television services not go against the data caps while making Netflix's services count against the data caps, they can't cry foul when Netflix lowers the speed of their service to keep the data caps from being hit, thereby keeping the playing field neutral despite the ISPs actively exploiting their monopoly to harm Netflix. Don't worry, I'll get back to telling feminists off after a while, but this tech stuff keeps on coming up and I just can't believe some of the things that I'm reading in the news lately. This is Feminazi, signing off.